Hey everybody, Geek Out Tech here. Today I'm going to show you the process I go through for ordering more RAM for an Apple computer. What you need to do is go up to the Apple icon, About This Mac, More Info, and almost everything you need is going to be found on this screen here for finding the proper RAM on websites. You'll need to take note of the size monitor that helps, the mid-2010, the processor speed and type, and the memory, especially the speed, 1067 megahertz, and the type, the DDR3. The one other thing that can help you with certain sites is in system report and it is this model identifier. My MacBook Pro here is MacBook Pro 7,1. Alright, let's go to the website that I like to use for purchasing RAM and that is MacSales.com and the name of the company is Other World Computing OWC. So once you get to this site, you go over here to Memory, click there, this page is categorized by the type of system you have. This is a MacBook Pro, so I'm going to click on the laptop section here. And here we can further nail down what we need. This MacBook is a mid-2010 13-inch in this section right here. Notice the 2010 MacBook Pro 13-inch. Also down a little further Here's that model ID, MacBook Pro 5,1. So I'm going to click in here in this section. And this page here tells me all the systems that take this type of memory. There's quite a large list. Mine is the 13 inch, right up here, 13 inch, 2.4 gigahertz. You can also scroll down a little bit here, and there's that model identifier again, MacBook Pro 5,1. What's nice on this site, too, is that up here it's telling me the OWC has tested these systems and made sure that they support a maximum amount of memory of 8 gig. So I know for sure that that is the maximum amount of RAM that I can have in my system. And this over here is the little kit that I ordered, the 8 gig upgrade kit, two DIMMs, four gig on each module. So that's how I go about finding the proper RAM for an Apple computer. So it's a good idea to verify how much memory your system can handle. And you can do that at Apple's website in their support section. And I will put a link to that in the description below. This is Geek Out Tech. Thanks for watching.